Andreas Nauen. He's Chief Executive Officer at Repower Systems and he joins us from Vienna where he's attending the World Economic Forum. Welcome to Countdown on Bloomberg. Can I ask you first, can offshore wind plug the gap left in Germany after nuclear is phased out? And what about the cost? It's still very expensive. Um, yeah, good morning. Um, thank you for the question. First, we of course welcome the decision by the German government because it can clearly lead and be the kickoff for a new energy age and um, it offers great potential. And uh, if you, with regards to offshore, to answer your question, yes, I see offshore can fulfill and can fill part of the gap. I, it will be very difficult by the time also that is foreseen to completely fill it. But I think there's um, quite uh, an amount that can be done by a German or also other European countries in offshore. Uh, have you already spoken to the German government to, to try and make up for some of the power lost by 2022 when nuclear will be completely phased out? Um, of course, we are part of the whole process that is happening in Berlin um, via the various associations. And um, we are in talks also with uh, utilities and developers because in the end it needs to be a joint effort that is done by our customers, by the government, by the authorities, but also the financing institutions. And here we also are addressing the split that is offshore and onshore because if we want to um, fill that gap uh, via wind power, it also needs to have a considerable share of onshore and there's still great opportunities and potential also for onshore wind in Germany. As recent studies show um, nearly 50 percent of German electricity can be generated from onshore wind. So we need to strike a nice balance here also between off and onshore. Now how can Repower compete with the giants like Vestas and Siemens that really dominate the offshore wind industry? And for instance Vestas announced a seven megawatt wind turbine. Does Repower have a, have a similar model in plan? Um, actually, I think uh, Repower is, is way ahead here of some of the competition because we have a six megawatt model well in operation for years already and we have experience in offshore since 2002. So um, even though other companies might be slightly bigger than we are, we can look back to quite some history in offshore and we have about one billion euros of order backlog of real orders that we're implementing at the moment. And as we speak, we're installing now I think the 15th turbine for a project in the Irish see so um, we are really doing offshore and not only planning offshore do you think you'll be penalized over by the fact that actually some of your production is being moved away from Germany uh, to India at exactly the same point where not only Angela Merkel is saying she wants to phase out nuclear but actually possibly other European countries will follow suit um, I, I, I think it's a great advantage that we have within the group that we belong to in the, within the Suslon group that we can actually now produce in India because it makes us more competitive in some parts of the world like the US or Australia. For the European projects, and this is what we are addressing here mainly, we will continue to produce in Europe, mainly in Germany, and um, we are currently expanding our facilities in one of the German ports called Bremerhaven, where we by early next year will get started with a new production facility or an extended production facility I should say. Now despite what's going on in Germany it's a pretty tough market globally orders have fallen notably in the United States how do you how do you persuade governments and certainly big corporations that maybe the way that you produce energy is the way forward? Yeah, I think the key for every wind turbine maker, their repower is, is not alone, is we may have to make wind power more competitive and simply um, provide more efficient uh, technology. And here, repower with its drive for high quality and great technology based on the, the made in Germany idea or designed in Germany, I think has an advantage also to convince uh, corporations. And as our re past years show, we have been working with French, uh, large French companies, large Italian companies. We have frameworks in Canada. So we are globally present, represented. Um, of course, um, we still see the challenges of, uh, of competition, but I think uh, past has shown that via the technology that we drive, we can uh, be successful. Andreas Naun from Repower Systems, I'm really grateful to you. Thanks for joining us here on Bloomberg today.